This is Puke Gladly, who is in no way whatsoever related to Luke Bradley. Puke Gladly lives in England, 1866, and suffers continually from various random facial and bodily illnesses. You didn't have to mention that. Shut up. You're not supposed to hear me. Just ignore my prolonged narrative, okay? Good. Anyway, it is a cold, long winter. The Gladly family are unable to provide for Puke, and fear he is suffering from the cold. <coughs> to solve this worrying medical problem, they have sent him to a local physician, for help. Off I go, to see the random physician. Whoopee. Hello there. Are you the physician I have scheduled to see? Yes. I know everything there is to know about medicine. I have read Hippocrates, Galen, Ibn Sina, Raises, and a ton of other blokes you've probably never heard of. Cool beans. Do you know what's wrong with me? Ah, uh, yes. It appears your four humors are out of balance. As the winter and the cold weather associated with this time of year closen, your body is giving off an array of random illnesses. Okay, I guess that sounds plausible. What treatment do you suggest? Well, we may have to bleed and purge a large amount of blood from your body. Don't worry, it's not as if it's keeping you alive anyway. The best chance you've got is if we start as soon as possible, and due to budget restraints from my university, this will have to be performed on the street. Very well then, but before we get started, I just wanted to know, why do you have a highly embarrassing and feminine voice? Erm, I got a throat problem today. Yes, too much. Erm, um, prune juice. Yes. Right. Prune juice does that to people. Just do your thing then. Um, is that really necessary? Trust me man, it's for the best. Oh, what are you doing now? I don't like the sound of that. Arr, the insufferable pain. I'm in such agony at the moment. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. It's starting to get dire. It looks like Puke's treatment was extremely ineffective. Oh dear. Oh, I feel faint. Hello. Oh. Looks like I better get out of here. This could get messy. And oh my, that is messy. On his last legs, Puke turns to a local wise woman for hell. Okay, I know women are like, immoral and all that, but please wretched wench, I beg of you, cure me from this pestilence. You sexist pig. If you're going to talk to me like that, you can forget it. Okay, I'm sorry. I hadn't realized you'd take it so personally. Women aren't people, you see, because ever since 1542. Get to the point. So I heard around town that girls are good at making tea, and I figured tea had something to do with medicine. I hope it does anyway. If you're referring to herbal medicine, then yes, I do happen to specialize in a wide variety of those treatments. Will do. Score for puke gladly. Go me. Go me. Go. If you would please quit it with the self-praising, and let me take a look at your mouth, as I can smell something awful coming from it. Wow, you're nice, aren't you? That's rich coming from you. Anyway, open wide. Let me just open the jaw. Ah, it seems you have a rather bad case of scurvy. Luckily, I have the only known cure for it, from a book by Mary Doggart. How about some horseradish roots, white wine, water, and a quarter of orange juice or maybe just 12 thinly cut oranges? You'll have to swallow them whole, of course. What? You can forget it. I'm not swallowing a load of crap, merely because it's a cure in a book written by a woman. How stupid do you think I am? I'm leaving, have fun in your crack den, crazy lady. Of course that was a well-known cure for scurvy. As we all know, scurvy causes internal bleeding and ultimately, death. Will the ignorant puke ever learn his lesson? Find out in the next exciting installment of the Chronicles of Puke Gladly, Society's Undertaker. And oh my god, he just walked through that bush. Incredible. That was a solid object and he just walked right through it, as if it was not there. 5.4. March 2nd 27.1.0 you screwed my countdown, now I hate you, and my eyebrows have gone funny, leave me alone. <laughs>